What is up guys, Goalkeeper1 is here and today I'm going to be making a reaction video on the new video that GQ Guilherme made about modern goalkeeping and then after that I'm going to be telling you why modern goalkeeping is a professional goalkeeper so let's get into the video. Okay, so obviously at first he started off as the intro. What's good guys, Tyler back, GK Goal Remy. So today's video is going to be a yearly review to see what the self-proclaimed future of goalkeeping, Michael Bolvin, aka Modern Goalkeeping, has been up to this past year. Okay, so first of all, why would you make a video about that? If somebody's interested in what Michael Bolvin has been up to in the past year, they're going to go to his Instagram or his YouTube channel. For anybody who's not familiar with Modern Goalkeeping, you can check out a video that I put up about a little over a year ago. No, don't watch the video. If you want to get familiar with modern goalkeeping, hearing somebody talk shit about him is not the way you want to meet him. Which was mostly just criticizing how he trains, how he portrays professional goalkeeping training in general, and just that the type of drills he's doing isn't going to make you better on the field in matches. Yes, it will. If you do those drills, you are going to improve your diving, you are going to improve your footwork, you are going to improve your explosiveness. Like, Yes, you are. That's just bullshit. It's goalkeeper, so please do not bother them or confuse the two, because these two are not comparable at all. Yes, they are comparable. Modern goalkeeping has a much better technique than the modern day GK. So it's really not a big surprise that with Mike's improved trainings, that some pros have reached out to him saying that they like his drills, they like what he's doing. And of course, Mike was super excited to use those messages and trying to take a shot against me. So Mike, what do you think of all those negative comments you've been getting? Bro, I know, I know, like, it's crazy, bro, like, I don't know why so many people actually hate on me. Like, I hear a lot of, like, yo, your training make no sense, like, everything is just for a show. But guys, I can literally pull up some of my private DMs from, like, top professional goalkeepers. And guys, and they actually love my trainings. No like, way. actually, yeah, bro, let's start with Manuel Neuer. Like, he literally says... Bro, I like your blog and watch it together with my goalkeeper coach, Tony. Okay, so the funny thing about this is that Jiggy Goremi was trying to take credit for this positive feedback that modern goalkeeping was getting, such as this one from Manuel Noir. Like, it is not because of you that modern goalkeeping has finally been getting those positive feedback. It is because of his hard work and consistency that he got this message. So I don't get like, so people just who commenting hate and stuff, yo, they have no idea, but the yeah, 100%. Like, reading those comments, it doesn't even look like it's a lack of knowledge that people have about goalkeeping. It's just, it seems like they don't even understand what goalkeeping is at all. Yeah, but the real pros, like, they know. I'm sorry, GK Guilherme. <laughs> You're not a real pro to me, bro. So first off, Mike, you get zero say on who's a real pro and who isn't. So, who does get the say? The coaches? Well, I'm going to tell you, sometimes the coaches don't even know who the real pros are as well. So... If a quality goalkeeper doesn't have the say, then who does? You haven't signed a professional contract, I have, so your opinion on this matter really doesn't mean anything. You also seem to be ignoring the fact that I uploaded that video over a year ago, and before that video was uploaded, you were doing trainings like this. I see absolutely no problem with this. In this drill, he's training high diving with resistance. Like, if you think that you don't need this as a goalkeeper, then I don't know what else to tell you. Now you're trying to use these pros' reactions to your newer content to try to say that that video that I made was always BS. But if that was the case, then why did you change your training so much after that video came out? Okay, I'm just going to tell you this right now. And like even to the people who have been watching modern goalkeeping for long enough, like he did not change his style of goalkeeping after that trash talk video from GK Goren last year. Like before that video, he was making... Uh, goalkeeper training with his own style and what I think was the correct drills and right now he still does. I think what did change in the past year was that he has been traveling a lot and training with different professional goalkeeper coaches in countries such as like Germany, Switzerland like, and then New York, Los Angeles, like even Russia. So I think what did really change was that he has been getting more training and with other people who like, created the drills like, the coaches create those drills like not him, so that is maybe what seemed to change. But overall, modern goalkeeping did not change, and he is still like he is still himself. Okay, like I think that is something like I even respect him more. Is that like even at all the trash talk that he's been getting, that he is still uh, 
He's still himself. Like he didn't change. I would also like to get it out of the way that 100% Mike's reaction to this video is going to be that I'm just jealous of him, which is exactly what I said in the first video that I made. And it's as simple as, ah, well, they're all just haters. So Mike, I would love for you to explain exactly what I would be jealous about, because straight up, I'm just a better goalkeeper. No, you're not. I've had a much better playing career, which I'm still pursuing. Good for you. Just because you're pursuing a professional career doesn't mean you're better him or that you're even a professional goalkeeper. There's some professional goalkeepers that shouldn't even be playing professional soccer, yet they're the starting goalkeepers for professional teams. So, just because you're playing for a professional team does not mean you're better than him, does not mean you're a professional goalkeeper than him. Does not tell, does not tell us about your skill level. I'm not hated by a large portion of the goalkeeping community. <laughs> I wonder why Mike is hated by a large portion of the goalkeeping community. Yeah, absolutely no clue why that may be the case. Maybe if you weren't brainwashing people into believing what you were saying in the last video you made last year about him, then maybe you wouldn't have been hated about that. I mean, obviously you didn't think about that. And I'm sure that one of your big points is that you have a bigger social media following, so cool. But really, I value my playing career so much more than anything to do with social media. If you value your playing career so much, just go play for your team and stop making those bullshit videos about modern goalkeeping. You know, no, maybe I am jealous of the fact that Mike can rent a nice car and then try to play it off that it's something that he owns. I'm sorry, what do you do for a living? Oh, um, I do e-commerce and I do social media content creating. Okay, thank you. What is the problem with being able to rent an expensive car? I mean, seriously, it's really not that hard to be like you. All you really need is to have some content that's flashy, you know it's going to get some people's attention. If it's not that hard being as modern goalkeeping, then why don't we have like a hundred modern goalkeepings? Like, I don't see a bunch of goalkeepers at the same skill level as him. So obviously it's not easy being him. Like, it's not easy being at a skill level or just being the person that he is. And then you just promote whatever gloves you're trying to sell. You ever feel like the goals are just raining in? Aww. Expecting it to go low and then they lob it over you so you gotta run away from a mob of angry fans. We got the solution for you. Come to GoalRamy.com. We've got you set up with quality gloves, gear, and everything you'll need to succeed. <laughs> Aviato, one of the world's leading goalkeeping brands trusted by pros everywhere, is proud to provide gloves to GoalRamy. There's really nothing like a fresh new pair of Viper Safari Pros. Now, we're unstoppable. GoalRamy hands are safe hands. With this level of confidence, just relax enjoy the game and the shutout link is right down below in the description box golaramy.com made by pros for future pros okay so honestly i got really confused with this portion because i don't even know what she's trying to do like what she trying to mock modern goalkeeping because modern goalkeeping does advertise a grip mode gloves or was jiki Remy trying to advertise his own aviara gloves because based off of the description he does advertise them but when look at the video, it kind of just kind of seems like it was supposed to be something funny. So I was personally really confused about this video, like why he even posted it in this video. So with all of that out of the way, the rest of this video is really just going to be focusing on Mike's personality and how he handles himself on social media in general, since I don't think he's quite figured it out yet that the reason so many people dislike him is because of his personality and just how he carries himself. Well, you obviously don't seem to like his personality. And I do think that a big root to this disconnect between Mike and reality is that he's under this weird impression that you can't judge somebody based off of what they post on social media. To actually judge somebody, you need to meet them in person, you need to sit and have dinner with them and just talk to them, I don't know, for a couple hours. But he thinks that if he says something on social media and you physically do not know him, that there's no reason you don't have the right to judge what he says, which really any normal person knows just isn't true. I mean, people get arrested and lose their jobs over what they post on social media all the time. And it doesn't really matter what they're like in person. If you send out one tweet that's, say, racist or extremely offensive, 100% you're going to get fired the next day. Okay, I don't understand why he even said that. I don't remember Martin Goalkeeping ever saying anything offensive or racist on his Instagram or his YouTube. So that was just really out of context. If there is anybody that is saying something offensive, then that is your Jiki Guru Remy. And unfortunately for Mike, he's made a ton of 
Questionable decisions to say the least on what he's posted on social media over this past year. The video you're making right now is questionable. And it really didn't take him long to do so after the first video I posted where him and his team thought that this would be a decent response to post on IG to that video. after the video we made last year and after all the hate comments he has been getting constantly and even to this day that he is still getting. But even with that said, this whole response by Mike is just a mess. Okay, so after making the bullshit video last year talking shit about modern goalkeeping, right now he's just saying that modern goalkeeping's response is a mess. Like, are you serious? It's really just a messed up way for him to handle this situation since he's using the suffering of these kids to try to back himself out of a corner that he put himself in. Okay, he goes back at it again with bringing the kids into this whole thing. He was constantly doing this in the last video last year. He was talk he was saying something about modern goalkeeping and his drills, and then he ended up saying it's giving a bad example to the kids. Like he was talking about modern goalkeeping jumping over benches, and then he mentioned that it's showing a bad example for the kids, and that it those drills are reckless, and that you can get injured. Like here's the thing. Goalkeeping itself is reckless and you can get injured. Like, it doesn't matter how old you are, you can get injured. And the fact that he's saying that he's showing a bad example to the kids, like, all this reminds me of like famous movies and TV series where uh, the movie or the series was giving a bad example. And like, even though, like, for example, like, even the example I'm showing right now, like, probably one of the best TV series, is Russian TV series in the history. And a lot of the people that were playing the, the roles in those in this TV series, they were highly criticized because it was showing a lot of bad examples. And even though this TV series was made 20 years ago, today people are still being criticized for playing those roles. And this kind of all reminds me of Martin Gulkimi because it's the same thing here. Like he's being criticized for showing kind of a bad example, even though he's doing high quality drills. Like, Yes, you can get injured there. Like, yes, it is reckless because I, goalkeeping itself is reckless, but it's just, at the end of the day, just messed up that he brings in this example of giving a bad example to the kids. Like, if the kids cannot handle this, like, I guess they should just be watching the video. Like, that is what it comes down to because, yes, you, get, you can get injured if, like, if you're a parent watching this and like, you don't want your kid to be injured then you sh they probably shouldn't be watching modern goalkeeping they probably shouldn't be playing goalkeeping at all so that is kind of what i have to say at this part it's not a surprise that the maturity from mike just isn't there i mean he likes to have himself be portrayed as a kid okay i don't think he likes himself be portrayed as a kid but that would explain why he thought it was acceptable to post a comment like this on a 17 year old's TikTok page over last summer so this comment would honestly be pretty cringy no matter who page you posted it on but the fact that this is someone who's 24 posting this on a 17 year olds is just gross i mean 
For reference, that's someone who's two years out of college, pretty much hitting on someone who's still in high school. Okay, honestly, I don't see any problems with what he did. If anything, he just made her, the girl feel good because he complimented her that she looks good. Like, I don't see any problems with that. I think G. Goram just made a very big deal out of it. Like, if you're a girl and like, your favorite celebrity comments a post that you look beautiful, like, you're gonna feel good about her about it and like it doesn't matter if the celebrity is 45 years old and you're 17 like it's still going to make her feel good and again i don't think there was any wrong doing from modern googling you you can't be doing that you just you can't be posting comments like this especially as someone in mike's position where you're going to have underage people all the time dming you again he comes back to the same idea that modern goalkeeping is giving a bad example to the kids which he's not and reaching out to you and it's just terrible president to set to that you feel comfortable publicly putting something like this on a girl's page. Which takes us into what one of my biggest issues with Mike was on the last video I put out, which is when he injured Bobby Brancher, who was a 12 year old at the time. Okay, no he didn't. Modern goalkeeping did not injure Bobby. Like I said it in my last video that I made about him three months ago, Bobby got injured in a training scenario and modern goalkeeping just happened to be there and he was the one who was hitting the ball. But again, as I said in the last video, you don't just blame the person who was hitting the ball on the injury. I'm doing really reckless training, something he shouldn't have been doing. Again, goalkeeping is reckless. If you don't want the risk of being injured, then just don't play goalkeeping. It doesn't matter how old you are, 12 years old or 25, like you still have the risk of being injured. Again, you want to get injured, just don't play goalkeeping. Well, it shows him training, it shows the kick, it, has a little text come up, Bobby saying that he got injured during that. It has him taping up his wrist after it. It has Bobby after the video, almost looking like he's in tears because definitely I've torn ligaments in my hand. It's painful. He was struggling to get his glove back on towards the end of the video. This 100% happened and Mike is still adamant that none of it did. Okay, so if you get a bullshit comment asking if you remember the time when you injured that person or that person, then you're going to get the same bullshit response. And then all Mike's comments are just pretty much saying, oh, it never happened. You believe everything on the internet, but there's never been an explanation for then what happened. And this is just another great example of Mike's lack of maturity. This does not show anything about modern goalkeeper's maturity. If a person like in a U12 goalkeeper training gets injured, then the goalkeeper coach it will not be considered immature or will be at fault. Like again, if you, you don't just blame the person that was hitting the ball on that injury, it doesn't work like that, you can go around. Like, it just does not work like that, okay? Just ignoring it or pretending it didn't happen is not the way that you want to go with this. Now after a year, Mike actually did kind of figure this out on his own where two days before this video was supposed to be uploaded, he uploaded this to Instagram. The Frage is, have I dir wirklich die hand gebrochen? Nein, du hast mir nicht die Hand gebrochen, ich habe mich verletzt, aber ich war nie sauer auf dich. Das Training hat mir super Spaß gemacht und ich stehe wieder hier auf dem Platz, sogar seit längerem. Also es ist nichts Großes gewesen und was würde ich sagen? Fangen wir mit dem Training, oder? Ja, let's go. Guys, let's go! Okay, after this video, there's just nothing left for you to say, Jika Gurami. Like, Bobby himself just said that he just got injured in a training scenario and like modern goalkeeping is not his fault. Like even Bobby said that. Like I don't like what else are we supposed to say for you to understand that goalkeeping goalkeepers can get injured in trainings? Like you don't just blame the goalkeeper coach. That's where he says, Oh, I never said that I signed professionally. He lies about going on a professional trial over the winter. Okay, so first of all, I think modern goalkeeping knows better than you where he went and when. And then second, like after, right after he said that, he showed a bit of modern goalkeeping going to a professional trial with FC Rome. After arriving in Turkey, I got invited for my second tryout with a pro Russian team, FC Ural. FC Ural is based in Yekaterinburg and they play in the Russian Premier League, where also Zenit St. Petersburg or Spartak Moscow is playing. There were just so many red flags that this, of course, there's no chance that this was actually a proper trial. Where you can just start off with the basics, where one, he's filming himself talking into the camera and filming the coach in the middle of their session, which would just never, ever, ever happen in a professional trial. Honestly, 
that really doesn't even happen in training sessions. Yes, filming does happen. Like even when I went to goalkeeper camps where there were professional goalkeeper coaches, like they were also filming for Instagram or just to advertise their goalkeeper school. So this does happen. I don't think I've ever brought someone in to actually film one of my training sessions with a club that I'm signed under. But okay, so just because you didn't bring someone to film your training sessions doesn't mean that everybody else doesn't do it as well. But I could not imagine bringing the camera on an actual trial and trying to have someone just walk in the middle of all these drills just getting content from my YouTube videos. Okay, I am sure modern goalkeeper thought it through with the goalkeeper coach beforehand about filming all that and the goalkeeper coach knew that he was going to film like, it. It wasn't just something he randomly did. I'm sure that he thought through it before the training session. Okay, and the goalkeeper coach of FC Royal also has an Instagram where he posts training drills from the goalkeeper training sessions at FC Royal. So again, there's nothing unusual about professional goalkeeper coaches from professional teams posting training drills on Instagram or YouTube. So Mike, when you find yourself asking yourself this, I don't know why so many people actually hate on me. Just know very little of it actually has to do with your trainings. And oh really? So after making the video last year, where all you did was talk trash about the drills modern goalkeeping does, and after all the trash comments you received after the video talking trash about his drills, you decide to say this. Like, nice. And maybe this video will get you to be a more honest person, just like my last video got you to start training better. Man, like, what is this guy even saying? Like, so what he's trying to say is that the bullshit video he met last year talking shit about modern goalkeeping made him become a better goalkeeper. Like, does he even understand what he's saying? But if not, I'm sure I can always make a new video on you next year. No, don't do the video. Just do everybody a favor and don't do the video. Okay, and getting into the second part of the video, as I mentioned at the beginning, is why modern goalkeeping plays like a professional goalkeeper. So, to start off, have you ever noticed his diving? The way he dives is that he gets into a full stretch um, at the same time as he meets the ball. So, as you can see uh, at the video I'm showing right now, when he's diving, he doesn't have a late dive as even some professionals do. When he dives, he goes full stretch at the point where he meets the ball, which is actually very difficult to do. And if you ever play goalkeeper, you will know that. So, and again, there are some professional goalkeepers that cannot do this. So like, you need to be in very good physical form to do this kind of diving. And this is the first part why modern goalkeeping has a very strong diving technique and why I will consider this a professional diving technique. Okay, and getting into the second part why I think modern goalkeeping plays like a professional goalkeeper is because of his very strong handling ability. Like the way the shots that he's catching, the power of the shots and the way that he manages to dive and get both hands in the ball, I think that just shows his professionalism and I mean, you can disagree all you want, but you need to be at a very high level to be catching those shots and part of Part of the way you can reach this goal is by doing the drills that modern goalkeeping is specifically doing. Okay, and getting into the third and final area of the game where I think modern goalkeeping shows his professionalism is his footwork. If you've been watching his videos, then you can see that he has very quick footwork, which helps him get through the cones fast, helps him get across the goal really fast. And obviously, you that is the type of footwork that professionals show. And to be honest, sometimes I don't even see that from professional goalkeepers. So just by looking at this, you see that modern goalkeeping is playing at a professional level. Um, I don't know exactly why he's not playing for a team. Uh, maybe that is a choice that he made, but he is definitely at the level to be playing at the professional level because his diving, his footwork, his, his handling is at the very top level. So that is all I got to say on this on his game. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it or found it useful. Maybe learn something about modern goalkeeping. Uh, maybe change your opinion about him. Hopefully for the better. And I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.